my beloved muslim brothers sisters sons and daughters you have heard this you have heard the synopsis of what we have learned so far 40 truths about allah being the character of satan and we have also learned about jesus the son of god the creator of the universe we have seen the scriptures we have seen the references we have seen the comparison everything clearly shows jesus is indeed the son of god allah muhammad and jibril who came 600 years after jesus ascended to heaven and told the big lie the quran is a lie and it's it's a it's death the quran advocates killing and death it's not peace and the quran nowhere promises eternal life it doesn't speak about eternal life it says you do jihad with prophet muhammad if you do jihad then you are a true muslim that means islam advocates death and killing it's not life on the other hand jesus says he is life john 14:6 i am the truth i am the way i am the truth i am the life if anyone comes to me i will give you life that is what jesus has said in john 6:63 he says his ver- his words spoken words are life spirit and life his spoken words are spirit and life john 6:63 and in so many verses he says anyone who believes in him he gives eternal life so jesus has come to the earth only to give us eternal life read john 3:15 16 he came to the earth as son of god to die for our sins and pay the price of our sin of our sins to the devil so that we can get eternal life anyone who believes in his name and follows him gets eternal life but allah muhammad and jibril they are given a totally wrong way they have made the people hate others they have specifically said hate jews and the christian can it be a holy scripture jesus has said love your enemies he loves everyone all the christian the true christian love all the muslims we don't hate muslims muslims are our muslims are our beloved brothers sisters sons and daughters we don't distinguish just because quran has written like this we don't hate uh, muslim they are our loving brothers and sisters sons and daughters and i do have spiritual sons and daughters from which muslim community very loving and i love them and i love you all so it is false to say that the christian jews and jews are the enemies of muslims no at least i can speak for the people who believe in jesus truly believe in jesus yeah we love you all muslims this whole teaching is a manifestation of god's love jesus is god his love and i am his servant and i am doing it all that because i love jesus and i love you so don't believe in the quran which says christians and jews are our enemies and kill all of them no no killing is from the devil jesus has said it very clearly in john 10:10 10, 10, the devil comes the thief comes except to steal destroy and kill is a is a thief he is a destroyer he is a killer he takes the people to hell that is his role devil's role and he is a liar john 8:44 Jesus has said very clearly he is a liar and father of lies and the Quran is full of lies you just make a comparison of the Quran with the Bible the Bible undoubtedly came long before the Quran came and nobody can say the Bible is altered who are they to say the Bible is altered you have stolen the contents of the Bible the Quran has stolen Allah Muhammad have stolen the contents of the Bible and created Quran and the bible has not stolen the quran and created it no the bible preceded it the new testament preceded the quran by 600 years and the old testament was there for 2000 years before quran came davrat they are speaking about 
It was written in 1450 BC, 2000 years before Allah was born. How can somebody say that the Bible had been altered? This was written 2000 years before Allah came into the world, before Muhammad came into the world, before Islam came into the world. How can they say the Bible is altered? No, the original of the Bible, it's not in one, in 30, 40, 40 pieces. The Bible is available in the original skin. It's available. The Bible was written in Hebrew language. It was not written in Arabic language. The Old Testament was written, fully written in Hebrew language. Hebrew language is the language of the Jewish people. It is known all over the world. How can you say it was given by me, an Arab? How can Allah say he, can, he gave the Hebrew Bible to the Jews? And how can he say you kill all the Jews? See the contradiction. Contradictions are from the devil. The whole Quran is a bundle of lies. It is from Satan. Allah is Satan. Muhammad is a false prophet. Now it is for you. We have already given. The Holy Spirit has already given 40 distinguishing marks to enable you to understand that what you are following, following is not the right path. Islam or the Quran or Allah or Muhammad Nabi, it's not the right path. Take time, take time, read your Quran first. If you don't read your Quran, if you don't understand your Quran, you will never understand eternity. Eternity is all that matters. Eternity is all that matters. What are you going to do after this life? Do you want to land up in hell or do you want to land up in heaven? Jesus says he has the keys of the heaven, kingdom of heaven. You have heard Matthew 16, 19. How can anybody repudiate it 600 years later? Can anybody deny this 600 years later? And if anybody denies it 600 years later, can he be a God man? Only devil will deny Jesus. Allah is devil. Jesus has come from heaven. In, in John 6, 38, he says, I have come down from heaven. In John 6, 62, he says, I will go back. If you look, if you see me going above from where I came. And he went above. After resurrection, in Acts 1, 9, in the presence of so many people, when they were looking at him, he flew into heaven. And 60 years later, he came down and spoke to his seven spoke to his seven john and it is recorded in the book of revelation 22 chapters take time to read your quran take time to read the book of revelation take time to read what jesus has spoken in matthew mark luke john read you will immediately understand read the book of genesis you will understand the whole lot of lies in the quran regarding noah the quran has given bundle of lies Read the original, read the Bible, your eyes will open. If you don't read your Quran first, and then if you don't compare it with the Bible, you will remain blind. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you so much. 1400 years, Jesus has not allowed this comparison. 1400 years, he has left you to be on your own, to follow the false religion and false God. But now, Jesus has come down. He says, Muslim children are my children and I want them. And so, he has revealed these things to you. And he has been revealing series of things for you to enable you to take a decision. One of these 40 instances mentioned here, given by the Holy Spirit, one of the 40 distinguishing marks of the marks of Allah to prove he is devil, one of the 40, that will, that will enable you to make a decision. But Jesus has given you, the Holy Spirit has given you 40 markers, 40 markers to enable you to decide easily that Allah is not God and Quran is not a holy book. It's a book of death. It's a book of killing and it's a book of death. It's a devil's book. My beloved 
Muslim brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Jesus loves you so much. And it is not a false statement. It's not an exaggerated statement. Jesus loves you like his own life. Test him. Test him. Jesus, are you really the son of God? Are you really alive? Are you really alive? Can you speak to human beings like this person says? Can you speak to me? Ask him. Ask him. He says, seek and you will find. Matthew 7, 7, 8. Anybody who seeks will find him, he says. Matthew 7, 8. Read it. It is a promise. The person who has spoken, the person who has spoken, Jesus is alive. He is alive. His words are alive. Speak to him. Close your eyes and call him. I challenge you. I challenge you, my dear brother, sister, son, daughter. I challenge you. Speak to him. Jesus, are you real? Can you speak to me? Are you alive? Can you speak to me? Ask him and he will speak to you. You will hear his beautiful, loving voice. I heard his voice. I heard his audible voice. Unmatched. Unmatched love. Your life will be completely different. The real Christian life is a powerful life. Don't ever go into any church. Please do not go into any church. The church represents another mosque. Do not go. The church represents idol worship. Do not go into any church building. As a brother, as a loving person, I tell you, don't ever enter any church. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Speak directly to Jesus. You don't need an intermediary. You don't need somebody like me to link you with Jesus. No, no, no. Read his word. Read the words of Jesus. And then close your eyes. He is your father. He is your creator God. Speak to him. If you have the real longing to hear him, real longing to see him, he will definitely appear before you. You will definitely hear your voice. I guarantee you, Jesus is alive. Because he loves you, he has made this teaching. And I know this God. I know Jesus. When he loves what he will do. I challenge you. Try to speak to him. But open your heart. Don't challenge him saying, You are not God. My Allah alone is God. So you will not speak. If you challenge him, you will never listen to him. He is God. He is God. He doesn't need somebody's endorsement. He doesn't need somebody's endorsement saying, Jesus, you are son of God. You are not son of God. If somebody says you are son of God, if somebody says you are not son of God, doesn't mean anything to him. He is God. He is the son of God. He doesn't need our certificates. He needs an open heart, a surrendered heart. You really open your heart and ask him, like a small child, ask him, you will hear him. You will be able to see him. I challenge you. I bless you, my dear brother, sister. In the name of Jesus, I bless all my beloved Muslim brothers, sisters, sons and daughters. I love you. Jesus loves you so much and I also love you. In the matchless name of Jesus, I bless you again. Let all the glory go to Jesus, the Son of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.